So there you have it. Uh, so it's the end of the 48 hour dagger challenge now. It's been over for five hours for me. Um, and I wanted to jump on while my thoughts are still fresh about the whole ordeal. Uh, I mean, if I could sum it up in one word, it was roller coaster. This whole build has been a journey from beginning to end. Um, <laughs> Uh, like the the comp the the, the forty eight hour dagger challenge the last time I did it uh, it was it was an intense uh, couple of days but this one just threw me for a loop um, overall especially given the number of setbacks that I had uh, mostly thanks to my own stupidity uh, I I am actually quite pleased with how it came out and uh, you know this will be a nice piece to add to my collection of. Uh, my pieces that I get to keep uh, Mainly because it's just a couple floors that I'm not super comfortable with letting go to a customer, but I will keep it for myself um, But I, I couldn't have uh, pushed through if it wasn't for all of my supporters on Instagram and Facebook and stuff like that cheering me on uh, and Niels and Alex uh, Niels Vandenberg from uh, Black Dragon Forge and uh, Alex from Valhalla Ironworks, my co-host of the Forgecast uh, those guys really kept pushing me to keep going, to keep uh, keep pushing on, and make something. And uh, it happened. I, I got it done. <laughs> I'm holding the result. <laughs> uh, it's rock solid. There's no rattle or anything like that. Uh, there's no glue in this whatsoever, which is something that I wanted to pride myself on this year. Uh, again, I wanted to try a whole bunch of different things. This was my first time doing a multi-bar construction. This was my first time doing twisted Ws. This was my first time doing uh, sandblasted and... Um, Brass, this was my first time uh, doing the uh, through tang to a pommel nut construction. I'd never done that before. Um, yeah, it's it, it was a lot of firsts, and for all of that, it came out pretty good. Uh, I'm pretty happy with it. But uh, yeah, again, this wouldn't have been able, able to happen without uh, A, Niels for starting this whole competition thing. I'm not sure whether I should thank him or, like, be very angry. <laughs> Um, and Alex for, for backing me up and, uh, for all the guys that were commenting in my, on my photos and stuff, I, I quit twice on this, on this job, um, three times. I quit three times. I quit when the tip weld didn't happen. I quit when the, uh, the handle scales broke and I quit when the guard broke. And all three times I was reminded by people, uh, that not allowed to quit. <laughs> so... I better pick it up and keep doing it. So uh, yeah, here I am, and here it is. The 48 hour mosaic twist Damascus multi-bar dagger. Jesus, what went into my head? Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. I would like to say a, say a huge thank you, massive thank you to my patrons. Uh, you know, some of them were those people that were cheering me on through the whole thing. Uh, and some of them were PR people who have been sitting silently in the wings just supporting everything I do here and making sure that I have the tools made, that makes it possible for me to make this kind of stuff uh, in the, at the speed that I do. If it hasn't been for some of the Patreon investments that I've been able to make, thanks to the group of wholly wonderful people, I would not have successfully finished this, uh, this dagger, like 100% would not have happened. Uh, and so for that, I am eternally grateful to them. If you want to join that illustrious group of people, there will be a link down in the description below. There will also be a card at the end of this video uh, that you can hit and join the Patreon crew and help me make more cool stuff like this. I do have some plans for some really big projects coming up that are going to be similar in a vein to this. They're going to take a little bit longer than this one did, <laughs> thankfully. Um, but yeah, there are some big things coming and uh, I'm hoping to see you there. If you don't want to support me financially, that's totally fine, but if you could hit that like button, and make sure to hit the notification bell icon when you hit that subscribe button to be notified when I upload new videos because lots more stuff to come and even if you don't want to uh, pay to see it, it's still going to be there for you. So make sure you do that. Um, there will be a behind the scenes video of uh, <laughs> my thoughts on this build for my patrons, the little unedited uh, <laughs> bits for me. But uh, yeah, hope you have a fantastic week. Hope you get out there and make something awesome push your limits because it really does teach you things about yourself and uh, I'll see you next time.